Welcome to the country where we do country things and on today's video I'm going to do a little uh, progression update on Bo here as he gets ready to shed the velvet off of his antlers and I noticed today I was in here a little earlier and I noticed another uh, really good sign that he's fixing to come out of his velvet and I'll try to get up here real close to him he's going to the bathroom but you'll notice how much of his uh, summer coat is coming off and that's a really good sign too that they're fixing to come out of their velvet when they, when they really start going gray putting on their winter gray but there's another sign here that uh, i noticed earlier and it's going to be kind of hard for me to to maybe show you guys this if he'll if he'll stand and cooperate for me it's a real subtle deal and, and you'll never notice it unless you uh, have a real tame buck like this and you're able to get really close to him. But other than the fact that he has some more um, spots there, look this way, spots there where it's got the bone showing through. Down here on the base, look this way, hey dude. Hey, look this way. Down here on the base, you see right there, you see this fluid that's leaking out? I don't know if you can tell or not. Hey, okay. So at the base of his antlers, he has a, a fluid that's starting to uh, leak through the velvet. And when he starts doing that, that's another really good indication that he's coming out of his velvet. Hey, he doesn't want me um, messing with him too much here. But I want to get this on video because it's a uh, it's part of the process and I need to show it to you guys a little bit better than that and I don't know why he's being this way I think you know when, when they start uh, when they start coming out of this velvet and, the, and they start going hard antler like this uh, his attitude is going to change he's going to be a whole lot different animal in the in the next few months than he was all summer and he's kind of already starting that attitude Normally, uh, I can't get him away from me. But it seems like now he's not wanting to have much to do with me. But we'll get him up here in a second. I know Nina. And just Nina's behavior, uh, the way she's acting is nervous and stuff like that. Uh, that just tells me that um, he's a little bit more on edge. When you're around these deer as much as I am, uh, you, you kind of learn their behaviors and, and learn the signs. And uh, if she's at it, agitated, uh, that means that uh, he's doing something that she doesn't like. He may be pushing her around or something a little bit more, and he's going to do that. Now he's a four-year-old buck this year, so he is a fully mature whitetail buck that's going to be in the rut coming up really soon so he's going to be really aggressive uh, when it uh, comes time to uh, uh, enter the rut and that's why we're going to be removing his antlers here shortly and we'll bring you that video as well when we do remove those antlers or he will be really really dangerous uh, to be around during the rut but let me see if i can get up here i know dude I just want to show this and then I can leave you alone. You gonna give me a lick? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look this way. Look this way. So I'm gonna try to get the camera up here. And you can see there, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. There's a little bit of a crust. I know. A little bit of a crust you can see maybe i can see just a little bit let me um let me work with him here a little bit i, I really want to show this to you guys it's really important it's part of the process i know buddy you see that licking and stuff like that that's uh kind of means he's getting a little bit agitated too You getting mad at me? Hey, dude. Look this way. 
Look this. No. Hey, dude. I tell you what I need to do. I'll go in and uh, see if I can find something to give him for a treat, and maybe that'll help us out. Man, we got him turned around here now. I know. Let me uh, go in here and get him a treat. See if I can get him to uh, take his mind off of this for just a second, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got a sunflower there and stuck it in the fence, and it's going to fall off, of course. Let's see if I can wedge it in there a little bit better. So we're going to get down here and take a look at this while he's distracted with that. And you can see that crust on there. Let me see if I can pull that off and show you guys. So it's kind of a yellow colored kind of a liquid. And that's the crust from it. And it's just around the base of his antler right there. You can see it there on my fingers. Leaking. I know, buddy. It's actually, you see it maybe dripping there now. See that, that dripped? Hey, hey, dude. So that tells me that uh, he is going to come out of his velvet very, very shortly. Um, you can just kind of tell, just kind of by the way he's acting, throwing his head around and stuff, and just being really. A little bit more agitated than he normally would be um, what I'll probably do tonight here is um, go ahead and get that branch like I talked about that big branch put it on that t-post and see if I can't get him to start rubbing he acts like he wants to uh, rub already so if I can get him to turn back around here for you guys Hey dude, you can see all that, that blood on the inside there. Oh, see all that blood on the inside there where he's nicked a few spots already. Turn around for me, please. Turn around for me, please. Hurry up before Nina gets the sunflowers. Anyway, that's about the best I'm going to be able to do for, for right now. I'll, uh, I'll get that set up tonight, and we'll try to get him uh, actually rubbing the tree tonight. So anyway, that's that's part of the process, that, uh, that liquid that's leaking through where it's starting to rub out, and he's not going to let me do it. So anyway, I hope I got enough of that on camera to kind of show you guys and We'll do another update on him really soon, so thanks for watching and 